Portugal con André y Mauro, uh, que van a presentar su espacio Una cierta falta de coherencia okay, so, um, que tienen en el Porto. Una cierta falta de coherencia en el principio de 2008. Uh, in the continuity of uh, the experience we had with uh, an artist-led scene we, where we, uh, we were taking part of. Um, Porto is quite a small city, but it was uh, quite interesting to be there in this last uh, 10 years. Um, although it was not fashionable, uh, there was a museum, there was a few galleries, not that bad for a small city, and there was uh, also a few artist-run spaces. Uh, in 2008, Eight when there uh, there is finally or not finally but there is suddenly a, a major at attention on the Porto artist led scene. This ar artist led scene starts to uh, starts to die and uh, together with Mauro we started to think about the reason and we wanted to test the idea of not to test the idea of community. It's not that we wanted to define community but we wanted to. Uh, to understand if there was a group of artists enough uh, to engage with themselves and uh, build these uh, collective projects. Uh, we started this project uh, immediately uh, as we found the space that you are visiting now through images uh, in the city center, a very old shop with very uh, bad conditions, lots of humidity, no heating, no uh, um, no water, um, with dusty walls, and uh, uh, we immediately named it after a project by uh, Jimmy Durham, a certain lack of coherence, the book that you saw, and we picked this name because it takes, uh, it, it carries a lot of information or lots of possibilities, but also because in this book there was a text called "Artists Must." must start helping themselves. This is a text by, uh, from 1982, and we thought it was uh, tot uh, completely actual, and, um, and so we, we just started the project. We wanted the project to be collective, and in the beginning we started sharing the program of the project. We would give the space to people to program it for three shows or three events or whatever they, they would like to do. Um, we didn't find this uh, community uh, working that well. M maybe, uh, I would say that there is no community or ar artistic community in Porto. There are artists working, but it, it's not enough to call it community. And, um, and we started programming it uh, by ourselves. Uh, programming it by ourselves, we always uh, stress this idea that it's an artist-run space. We do not curate it because we want to keep it in the relation artist to artist. We follow a lot the, 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 the shows uh, producing it, although we don't have budget, although we, don't, we have no funds, uh, uh, nor we don't want uh, to have it. And, um, uh, but but uh, yeah, we follow up as much as possible uh, the projects. You wanna say something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. It's important to talk about um, the surrounding area of uh, the space. It's an old part of the city, uh, very old uh, and very poor as well. Uh, so this space, uh, when if you see the image, adds is like this. It's not uh, like fascination for something that is old but uh, this is a reality, like a window to a reality of what is hidden the, um, the facades of the city. Um, uh, in, our, in, in the building of this space, for example, there's people living above and we are on the ground floor and there's water going in. So it's easy to imagine what's, what's happening above. Uh, and when the artists arrive there, uh, the space is very present and also the street, uh, the street and uh, what's going on. There's a lot of junkies passing by all the time doing drugs in, in the street. Uh, so this connection with the space and uh, 
the, 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 the area, it's, it's almost, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard to, to not do it for the artists. So we invite all these artists that uh, uh, we think that, uh, or we invite them to, to, to work with uh, this situation. Yeah, every artist uh, is asked to present something new. We have, we have a case of an artist that decided to show, a, uh, to make his first retrospective in our space, in kind of an irony uh, statement. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's important to, um, to understand that this, this adaptation to the, or this site specific can be as uh, broad as uh, just spreading fake Chanel perfume in the space and having an empty gallery, or um, uh, opening a one meter 20 large hole in the floor of the gallery, or um, putting, sticking uh, in, through the gallery uh, big and thick uh, burnt pine uh, uh, poles, pine wood poles, burnt pine wood poles all, all along the gallery. So. Uh, the dialogue happens through architectures, through objects, but also through the, the this uh, uh, almost, uh, it's not that invisible, but this uh, micro, um, uh, things that we find in the surface of the, the gallery. Uh, as we said, we, have, we are not funded. In the first year, we decided to uh, support the, uh, and pay the rent by ourselves. It's like uh, 150 euros. It's not that much. It's a lot if it's only uh, uh, paid by two artists uh, who can't afford it. So we started to do some uh, fundraising auctions, which uh, uh, we quitted after the third year. Um, there was suddenly a few galleries, uh, gallerists and collectors trying to buy bargain work instead of uh, supporting the project. And uh, we didn't want to take part in this uh, uh, in this process anymore. And we prefer to keep. Uh, and with the auctions, we we got uh, we got money to pay the rent of uh, a few months. But uh, yeah, and uh, this situation that we don't want we don't want money uh, we don't want to ask money to the government because that's possible. Uh, well. Uh, not that we possible. don't have a rent contract, the light is not in our name, we don't have water, so in a way we don't exist. And uh, this, this, uh, also the artists that we invite, we, d we never invite artists that uh, we like and we don't know because we don't have uh, nothing to offer. It always comes from uh, already um, a relation. relation. Yeah. Because we are artists, and uh, in our we are building our network, meeting people, and these artists that we invite, they have to always be uh, sure of and to know to know what what is this space, what is the logic behind this, and uh, now there is since I guess 2007 Ryanair connection to Porto, so we are able to 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 invite some artists from outside Portugal. They stay in our houses. Uh, uh, Porto is a city city, and in terms of production, you can never think in spending much money in, the, in making the work because the conditions, the humidity inside the space is so big that it, it destroys everything. So uh, in the end, everything goes to the garbage. And so artists, they tend to, to adapt uh, to this uh, reality. Um, we have been able to, uh, till now, to work with different kind of artists. We have shown, uh, for example, first, the first show, uh, first solo show of some artists uh, that not many people knew um, or were uh, only locally uh, Known, but uh, we have also uh, been able to uh, engage with the artists that uh, have a celebrated, if you want, uh, uh, career uh, from older generations, working in, uh, uh, exhibiting in museums and uh, having retrospectives and good catalogs. 
So we are not really working against uh, anyone. It's not about uh, working against um, a museum, for example. Actually, I work in a museum to get paid uh, as an educational department. And, um, but it, it's, it's really about bringing another possibility and another and challenging the, the, the idea of art or the, the art context with this uh, space. Opening the door, as Mauro said, opening the door of this space was already building an image. It's like a new cave in the city. It's like uh, uh, um, showing, showing the city uh, behind the facade because most of the people don't know it. Uh, this district is uh, used in the night by junkies and in the day by tourists. Uh, it's, it's very friendly, or not, not very friendly, but it's kind of cozy, uh, Porto uh, street in the city center, very close to the city hall, uh, street with maybe more than 200 years old, but, uh, at, uh, but it's not nice what happens there. Then uh, um, uh, we open the space every Saturday for three hours. Uh, so each Saturday, one of us has to stay in the space. Uh, and uh, we, had, we have a lot of people. Uh, we always have the phone number, so can people, if they want to see the, the exhibitions, they can call us. Sometimes we have uh, schools going and uh, and now this next year we so we, we are trying to always to adapt to the the new reality the our lives and this next year a part of the time me and andrea will be out of porto so we are now uh, uh, thinking of this model of delivering the key to artists and uh, so you are totally responsible for the space. Do whatever you want, as you want, and yeah. Um, we never wanted to uh, fill our name in the associations list in, uh, or get a, 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 a financial number in the taxis or taxis number. And uh, we always wanted to keep... Um, Bureaucracy yeah. away. Bureaucracy, bureaucracy away and uh, uh, the most informal, informally possible. Um, because we want to build this kind of projects and work it and uh, make, they are a structure to, uh, or they are something to exist, but we never, we, we, we will never uh, accept these projects to enclose us or to, uh, uh, yeah, n not to allow us to travel or to be away or whatever. It's, it's something that exists, it's like uh, going on, continuity, it's like relation with friends, relation with family, you go, you come back, and things should be flowing. Um, it, yeah, it's, we want it to be more uh, close to life as possible. It's not about, uh, uh, um, we, I think we, we, we could win a lot if we would, uh, uh, professionalize a little bit. Uh, we would have uh, an office if we would spend more hours working for the, the project, but uh, we never wanted to. It's maybe laziness, it's maybe political options, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's maybe a certain lack of coherence, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, from this, re we receive uh, this uh, experience of working very close uh, with many artists, and that's the important uh, thing you know, for us. Uh, it's it it, it changed. Uh, I believe it it changed our way, our own work. Uh, there's always every artist has this, you know. Yeah, we may we may seem a bit religious or a priest, but uh, it's true. Like going through the project of each artist, working so in such a close way uh, for s uh, so many years with different artists, you really start to become part of their imaginary. Or, like, there's there's a, a very interesting exchange, and uh, that's the, um, the big reason 
Sometimes people ask how people in the neighborhood react to this. We had to, uh, we never forced uh, any relation. We have very good relation now, but it, we know it's something that we conquered. It's, uh, it happened slowly in a very organic way. And um, yeah, and uh, when, when people ask who, who gets the, the most, who, who, the, who is this project changing? We always say it's, this project is changing me, it's changing Mauro, and it's changing the artists that uh, work there. Uh, I, I don't believe it's changing the neighbor that is visiting, uh, vi uh, living in the upper floor. Uh, the only thing that it changes is that he gets uh, 150 euros because he's, he's the owner of the, the shop. So there's a very small economic uh, uh, um, <laughs> input, input yeah. but uh, the rest is, uh, it has to do with the day to day and uh, sometimes it's more important to say good morning to the neighbor than to, to, to give him art. And, uh, and we try to keep in our way, they are in their way. And, um, there must be, this, is, this was kind of 15 minutes, there was m probably pro more things to, to say, or I'm sure there was more things to say. Uh, it's easier to continue the talk outside with no mics. This is always a bit uh, embarrassing. We are, it's only the, the first time we are doing this. <laughs> um, and uh, well, I hope you travel to Porto and visit this project one day. Thank you. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Mauro. Uh